Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hi guys, today I am going to be giving you an introduction to Mid Journey. Mid Journey is your AI software that you can actually use to generate digital images based off of text. So you'll enter keywords and based on those keywords, the um, Mid Journey will create an image to model those words that you placed um, into what we call a prompt. So what we're going to do today is in order to use Mid Journey, you first have to set up a Discord account. So Discord, the way I look at it, is kind of like back in the day when you had AOL, American Online, um, and you could go into the different chat rooms. So you want to first start out by going to Discord.com and setting up and creating an account. Now, I've already created my Discord account, so you'll have to walk through you know, the process of setting up your Discord. But once you create, you go to discord.com, D-I-S-C-O-R-D.com. Once you go to discord.com and create your account, this is what it's going to look like. Don't freak out, okay? It's really easy. I'm going to simplify this as best I can, okay? So stick with me. Once you create the um, Discord account, then you want to actually go in and create, go to midjourney.com. Um, and that's where you'll create your midjourney.com account, okay? Now, Discord, well, let me say, Midjourney is actually free to use, but you only can um, initiate or download 25 times. After that, you have to pay for um, Midjourney, okay? You have to choose a plan. And they have three plans out there. I'm not going to go into pricing or anything like that because based on when you see this video um, tutorial, pricing can change, okay? So after 25, after you've downloaded 25 images, um, then you can, or not download it, but generate it 25 images, you can, you will then have to purchase Mid Journey if you want to continue. Now I'm going to show you that 25 images is not a lot. Okay, definitely not a lot. So these are all the images that I've generated. And um, I can tell you, once you start playing around with Mid Journey, you're going to fall in love just like I have. And you're going to see how fast those 25 images go. It's one of my favorites. Um, you're going to see how fast the 25 will go and you're you're going to want to pay for the plan. So I went for the top of the line because I don't want to be limited, um, but you go based on whatever your price point is, but I can tell you the 25 is going to go really, really fast, okay? Um, as you can see, all of these that I have generated here in Mid Journey. Okay, so once you create your Discord account, here on the left-hand side, um, you're going to look for the little one that has like the little icon that has like this little um, boat, little ship here. And that's where you want to be. Um, that's what you want to be on. And you want to look for a room that says newbie. Any of them that says newbies, this is why you have the free version. Um, any of them that says newbies or any of them that says general image, okay? So let's say, for example, I were to click here on newbies 129, and it takes me into that, like you say, chat room, okay? And you can see all of the images that other people have generated. So you can actually click on them and take a look at them. Really nice. Okay, 
then you can see what prompts they're actually using. This was an upscaled image. So they created this image and then they upscaled it. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. So you'll be able to see all of the digital images people in this room are generating, okay? Now, once you go into one of the newbie rooms um, and you want to, you know, get in where you fit in, so to speak, to generate an image or create an image, what you're going to do, oh, look at the little cute little kid. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> Okay, um, but anyway, so once you get into one of the newbies or the general accounts, this is when you're working with the free version just to test it out and see if you like it. Of course, you're going to start out by setting up a Discord account. Um, and then once you create Discord, you want to set up a Mid Journey account. And then you're going to come here and you're going to go into one of the newbie or the general rooms. And you're going to come down here to the bottom, okay? And this is where you're going to type in your text or what we call your prompt, okay? So in order to create an image, you wanna start out with the forward slash, and then you're gonna type in imagine. And you can see that it's already kind of prop, uh, pop, popped up there for me, so I can just enter. And then where you see your cursor blinking, that's where you're gonna start typing your keywords. So what I'm going to type is, I'm going to say, um, kid sitting on top of the world, eating ice cream. Okay, that's all I'm going to type in. That's my prompt. In order to generate a prompt, you have to um, first do the forward slash, type in imagine, and then enter your keywords, okay? You don't have to get super, super detailed unless it's something specific you're looking for, okay? And you wanna always start out with what's most important to you, meaning what do you wanna see in that image, okay? So I wanna see a kid sitting on top of the world eating ice cream, that's most important to me. And we're gonna go ahead and enter and we're gonna see what we get. Now, when you're in a newbie or general room, you're going to, you know, see other people's work, they're gonna see your work, and you have to kind of get in line for your image to generate. So you can see that um, when I type that in, I have to now go and find myself <laughs> and see where I'm at because it's con continually creating images for other people that are in this particular newbie room, okay? So you kind of have to scroll up a little bit sometimes and see where you are. It's going to give you a status um, to let you know how close you are. So let me see if I can find me. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Kids sitting on top of the world eating ice cream. All right, here I am. And you can see that it's done because it's going to give you a percentage. So let me show you. It's going to start out with giving you a percentage to let you know how close they are to creating your work. And once you get to 100%, then it's done. So here is my kid sitting on top of the world eating ice cream. And normally you'll know that it's yours because you'll have like this little orange border um, here. So that's one easy way to find your work amongst everybody else in the chat room. Yours is going to have like this, you know, border around it. All right. So I got just what I wanted, a kid sitting on top of the world eating ice cream. So if I click on that, and then click open in browser. It'll open up a larger version and another window for you so you can see it better. So there we have our kids sitting on top of the world eating ice cream. Not only is he eating ice cream, but he's actually sitting on an ice cream cone. <laughs> okay, that kid would be in heaven. Okay, really nice. Look how clean and crisp the details are. Um, so just to start out, you don't have to enter in a lot of words. And all I did was just close out that tab 
and then just click outside of this image and it'll take me back to that chat room. Now, when you generate an image, guys, or you create an image, you're going to have four images that are going to generate. Um, well, let me tell you where you're going to see first. First, you're going to see the prompt that you entered. And then your percentage, while your image is generating, it's going to show you a percentage. It'll start out with 0%, and then it'll go from there. Once you get to 100%, you'll know that it's done. And you can click on it and see the final results. Um, it's going to show you your name and that um, the download is set up. The settings are set on fast for it to generate quickly. You're going to get your four images. It's always going to be in a quadrant of four. And then you're going to have upscale. So you can upscale image one, upscale image two, upscale image three, upscale image four. Or you can get variations of image one variations of image two, variations of image three, or variations of image four, okay? So we're gonna take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna say upscale image one. Now, <clears throat> it's going to put you at the bottom. Because remember, everybody else is generating images too. And yours is going to have that orange line. And there's your percentage. It's at 0% right now. So always when you're in the newbie or the general rooms, uh, always look for that little orange borderline. And that way you can find yours quickly. And they call these bots. You can communicate with the bots in regards to your images. Okay, just gonna scroll until I see that orange borderline on the left. When I see that orange borderline, I know that that is mine. Oh, look at that an orange cartoon octopus with eight hands in the shape of a superhero, 8K. <laughs> Here we are. Remember, you're looking for that, um, that orange line, and you'll know that it's the upscaled version of it because it's going to have upscale. Um, let's make sure that's the right one. It should say upscale. In the image so let me make sure that's the right one because normally when you upscale upscale will be after your your prompt so let me make sure I just did not miss it so this is the the, the downside of the free version because you're in the room with everybody else here it is so you can see it it will have the uh, prompt that you use and then it'll say upscaled by and it's complete there's our orange line on the left-hand side. And we can now click on this image. We can open. When you click on open browser, it's just going to open up a separate tab. Okay, so you can see here it's loading. And there's our version now of that image upscale. A little bit clearer and crisper. And all you do to get back is you just click out. You just exit out and then just click outside of the image. Okay. Now, when you upscale an image, you can make variations of it if you like it. You can do a light upscale redo. You can do a beta upscale redo. And then you can actually um, place this on the web. Okay. So that's your upscale. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make variations. If you really like that image, you can make variations. It's going to give you four variations of that particular image. Okay. So remember, we started out with the kids sitting on top of the world. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys, you're going to love Mid Journey. It is an amazing, it's amazing software for these digital images. 
you can see we're getting further and further behind. People have woken up and <laughs> you're generating these images. Okay, so we started out with the kids sitting on top of the world eating ice cream. Then we did an upscale of one. You don't have to try to remember which one you upscaled. It's going to automatically be selected for you uh, or show which one you selected. We upscaled it. Then we came down, we found our upscaled version. Okay, we have our upscaled version, and you know it's upscaled because it's going to now say upscaled after the prompt. Okay, now we want to make variations of number one, just so you can see what that's going to look like. So we're going to do make variations, and again, it's going to place you in queue. And so you'll have to do a little bit of scrolling when you're in the newbie and the general rooms. But the great thing about the scrolling is that you get to see all of the other artwork that people have generated. That's really nice. This is really pretty. Now, even though this looked like text, it's not. Um, and what I mean by that is that your uh, AI software is just generating images. It does not create text. Okay, so just know that, but it did, it did, it's done a really great job to make this look like it's really words on these um, cards here, but it's really not. They're just a bunch of little lines to make it look like text. All right, when you can hear like a little beep, guys, when your image is done, that's to alert you that it's finished. You may not have heard it, but I can hear it, so I'm going to scroll down and find my little orange border on the left hand side and there it is and you're going to know that it's variations because it's going to have variations after your prompt okay so now we can actually click on that image left click and then open in browser and there's our four variations of the upscaled um, image one okay so it's really easy, guys. One of the things that I love about Mid Journey is that you get really clean, crisp pictures off of just a few keywords, okay? Now, again, if you want to get very, very detailed with the words that you're using, like in some other uh, AI software, you can do that. Um, it just depends on what you're, what you're looking for, okay? Um, so let's start out with another prompt here. So again, you're always going to start out with forward slash imagine. And once you've typed that prompt in, it'll automatically pop up uh, your choices there. And this time I'm going to say um, little girl sitting in a classroom reading a book. My friends always pick at me. Um, when I say book, they're like, you put a lot of emphasis on book. <laughs> okay, reading a book um, here in a ponytail wearing a red sweater. All right, and that's all I'm going to put, and then I'm going to enter. Okay, <clears throat> so again, you can scroll through to look for, I can see right here, there's mine because there's that orange line and it's, it shows me that it's not started yet. It's at 0%. You can look for the orange border or you can wait until you hear the little prompt if you have the volume on on your computer because after it creates your image, it's gonna generate, it's gonna do a little ding like sound. I don't know if that sounds right, but you'll hear it to let you know that your image is done. OK, so you don't have to just keep scrolling through here uh, when your image is done. It's going to make a little noise or sound. But I just saw it, so I know that it started. And there we are. OK, we're going to open it up in a different browser. And there we have it. Just what we asked for. A little girl sitting in a classroom reading a book wearing a red sweater and her hair's in a ponytail, okay? 
So if you want to get even more descriptive, you can, you can do that. You can take a part of the prompt or you can take the prompt that you've been working with and copy it. Come back down and forward slash imagine. Paste that prompt in. And I'm going to change this to little my cursor is acting up little African American girl sitting in a classroom reading a book here in a ponytail and you get some help along your way if you misspell something or um, you know the, the prompt bot We'll try to help you. The Mid Journey bot here will try to help you with your wording. So let's enter and let's see what we get now. So you see everybody else's work is being generated. And like I said, you can sit and wait or you can scroll through and look at other people's work. You can also copy prompts that other people are using. If you copy a prompt, if it's an upscaled or a variation, you don't want to include the words variation or upscale in the prompt. Just copy the prompt itself, but not upscale or uh, variation. All right, so here's our work right here. And you can tell that it's complete. I heard the little beep. I'm going to click on it. Left click on it. Open in browser. And there's my image. Okay. So you can play around with, if you like, image 2. You can upscale image 2. You can get variations of image 2. If you like image 3, you can upscale that and get variations, so on and so forth. Okay. So I'm just going to close that tab to get back. Now, the reason I say close this tab, if you don't, you're going to end up with a bunch of open tabs here with images. So I just always go ahead and exit out and then just click outside of the image to get back to Discord. And now I still just have Discord and Midjourney. Okay. All right. So um, that's that's the way that you can create images okay so we got that out of the way i've explained to you upscaling and variations um the next thing i'm going to show you is um let's go up here so we're going to this is an upscaled image but we're going to click on we're going to go here this person, when you see this right here, that means that they inserted an image and then they added words on. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So what they're doing is you click on, if you want to use an image for motivation, um, you're going to click on the plus sign here and you're going to click upload a file. And it's going to take you to your computer where you can locate that file. So I'm just going to look on here and see. Do, 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 do. What I want to play around with. So I'm going to show you how to upload an image motivation let's see now normally it wouldn't take me this long to find an image but stranger things have happened let's go back up to the top here all right I'm going to use this image mm, I haven't tried a PNG let's see if a PNG will work I've normally just used a JPG but we're going to click on open your image is going to generate. You're going to click on enter. And then you want to go down and find your image. Look for that orange border. All right, so here we have our image. What you're going to do is left click. And then you're going to right click and say copy image address. Okay. 
I'm going to do that again. You're going to left click, right click, and copy image address. Okay. Once you copy that image address, you're going to go back down. You're going to put in your forward slash, imagine, and you're going to paste that prompt in or paste that uh, address in. So control V and it's going to paste the image address and then you can type in a keyword. So I'm going to say queen. That's all I'm going to type in is queen and enter. And you can see it's right here. It's waiting to start. But that image is going to be used as motivation. So anytime you're looking, guys, and you see that HTTPS in the front here, that way you know that person used an image and then they added keywords afterwards to generate that image. You can see mine is working here. And there we have it. Okay, so we used my image as motivation and then we added queen to it. And you can continue to add additional keywords to build out um, for that particular image. Okay, so I didn't have to specify uh, African American, I didn't have to specify curly hair or anything like that. The, um, the Mid Journey bot is basing the image that is um, the image off of your image likeness, okay? So there you have it. All right, so the other thing I wanna tell you is that once you have, um, well, I'm gonna start here. To really get to, um, take full use of Mid Journey, the best thing to do is to go ahead and, you know, like I said, purchase the plan. You can start out small. I think the lowest uh, plan is like up to 200 images per month. I'm just going to tell you in my opinion, it's not going to be enough, but you start wherever your price point will allow you to start. Um, and then if you don't want to be a part of all this newbie and general stuff, it's best to go ahead and create like I said, create or sign up for a plan. When you do that, you can come here to this little plus and click add a server. And then you can say create my own. And you can say for a club or a community or for me and my friends, you can do that. And then you'll give it a name and say create. I'm not gonna create one. You can even add an image, upload an image to it. Once you create a server, this is my server here. When I click on that, this is where all of my images will be. I no longer have to be a part of the race to see where my images are. I know where my images are because the only people that's going to generate images in this particular or on this server are the ones that I've given the ability to generate images on this server, okay? And that's just me. OK, so now this is where all of my images will live. I no longer have to go here and utilize general or newbie and wait to try to find my work and all that kind of stuff. So use the plus sign, create you a server, give it whatever fancy name you want to. I have mine as Ken Doris's server. And now I can go here and I can do the same thing. Just go down. Type in imagine, and I'm going to say black man sitting on top of the world, <clears throat> eating a slice of pie. Okay, thank God for the prompt. And I'm going to enter. So now I no longer have to try to find where my images are. 
it's going to generate here. It tells me right now it's at 0% and only my images are going to be displayed here because this is the server that I've created, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we have a black man sitting on top of the world. Right now it's at 31%. And it's done. Okay, left click, open in browser. It's gonna open up a separate tab. And there we have it, a black man sitting on top of the world eating a piece of pie, and it actually has him sitting on a pie itself, okay? And again, just close that tab by Xing out of it, and then click outside of the image, and you're back to where you can generate or create more images. So the same thing, four quadrants, four uh, images. You can upscale one, two, three, or four, you can also do a variation of one, two, three, or four. Um, another thing I'm gonna show you guys is that if you want to get the rules and regulations in regards to Mid Journey, um, one of the prompts that you can type in to kind of help you out is forward slash help. Um, <clears throat> let me make sure I got that right. Do, 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 do. Yep. All right, there we go. So forward slash help. And here is a really great place to start when you have just a free day to kind of familiarize yourself with everything. Um, you can come here and this gives you information on getting started. Um, read the quick start guide, the website. You can view all your images and access your account, basic commands that will help you with your prompting, uh, additional options here, direct messages, other. You can click on any of these guys, these links. It's going to open up a separate tab for you, and there's your quick start guide. We'll tell you everything you need to know about Mid Journey. Okay, so you have your quick start guide. There's a user manual out here, frequently asked questions, okay, parameters, the web app, all that good stuff is out here. Okay, and all I did, I'm going to close this tab. All I did was just on my server. I just typed in forward slash help and enter. Okay, I'm not going to do it again, but forward slash help. Um, and that will give you all the information that you need to know about Mid Journey. Okay, now what I have not shown you, what I'm going to show you now is that um, if you like a particular image, you can see I downloaded an image, I tried the black man sitting on top of the world. Um, you can get very descriptive in your wording. As you can see, I started getting very descriptive descriptive based on what I was looking for, okay? I was trying to create myself a man. <laughs> um, and there is another um, YouTube creator out here that does awesome work that I've followed along the mid journey to kind of help teach me. Um, and he had these 10 really super simple prompts and I entered each one of those prompts just to see what I would get, a fashion shoot on Saturn. And that's what it generated. I liked it until I realized she was missing a leg. That's one thing about AI software is sometimes you're gonna end up with extra fingers and you know all that kind of good stuff. Um, this one was a 2D cartoon girl with Saturn rings around the head, floating anime really nice um but you can get very descriptive or a little descriptive i'm not going to get into all the descriptions this was another one of my favorites um here 
Now I'm trying to figure out how to get him to my house. <laughs> now that I've created him. <laughs> okay. Um, but you can get very descriptive or a little descriptive. Now, when you go into mid journey, okay, when you go into mid journey, you're going to find all of your images that you have created. Okay. So you're going to see those images that I was playing around with. You know, they will be in your your collection, so to speak. So I did this um, black man sitting on top of the world earlier. And there he is. Okay. So you'll have the ability to save it with the prompt. You can also um, bookmark the images. And then you can do, um, you know, open options to get additional um, information. And one thing about it is once you are in mid journey and you're looking over your images, you can just use the little arrows here on the left or right to kind of page through all of your images. Okay. But you have to start out in Discord. Okay. You have to start out in Discord, creating a Discord account. Um, I would highly recommend you start out with a free version. Play around with it just to kind of get a feel for it. Do the forward slash help. Look at all of the um, information out there on utilizing Mid Journey. But Discord is going to be like the chat room. That's where you're going to create your server. That's where you're going to generate your prompts. When you're in the free version, you're going to use this little icon here, a little white icon. You're going to use that. And you're going to go into a newbie room or a general, a room that says general, either one of those to start generating your free or creating your free images. You only get to do 25. And after that, you're going to have to purchase a plan. OK, and they do have three different plans out there. Again, I'm not going to get into pricing. Um, and then once you purchase a plan, I would highly recommend you create a server. I showed you how to do that. Um, and that way, all of your work will be, you know, you'll generate from that server instead of going into, you know, general or newbies. OK. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the way uh, you can get these images downloaded. Um, now, there's no actual download here. But what I do is I just open it up in the browser. I like to get the large image. And then you can right click and you can save image as. Okay. You can right click and save image as. Now it's not going to just save one image. It's going to save the four quadrant. Um, what you can do is you can do an upscale. If you do an upscale, remember it's only going to do just one image. So I'll show you. So like here, I have just one that I upscaled. I can open that in the browser. Now I can say save image as, and it's going to save that image. And I'm in mid journey. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to save this image as, and it's going to save that image for you as a PNG. Always make sure that it's saving it as a PNG, because sometimes you may have clicked something wrong, and it'll be like it'll save the web page. You don't want that. You want it to save as a PNG. And then you just close out that tab that it opened up and go from there. All right. So you can't save your image from here. OK, but you can click on the image and oops, you can um, click here. Let's see. Right click. I'm sorry. You can right click. You can add a reaction to this image, you know, just to let the mid journey bot know how good they're doing. You can pin a message respond to a message, you can create a thread, um, you know, copy the message link, and you can delete messages. So if you don't like this image or your work that you created there, you can come over here and click on the three little dots and delete this message. It's going to delete this image. It will give you a prompt to ask you, are you sure? Okay. So that's how you can get rid of ones that you don't want, but there's not going to be like in some, um, uh, some of the software, AI software, you'll have like a download button. You're not going to have a download button here. Again, you're going to left click, right click, 
save in the JS. Okay, and that's how you save. And again, it's going to save the four quadrants unless you specify to upscale one of the four images or a variation. Um, don't forget about your forward slash help. And um, I don't, I'm not very technical in the sense of, you know, specifying, oh, this is a mid journey bot, this is what they do, so on and so forth. My job is just to get you in, get you started with generating your images and how you can do that on the free version, as well as how you can create your server so that you don't have to be a part of that race to find your images. Um, but definitely you're going to have to create a Discord account first. Um, the first time I went to Discord, it looked really weird. Um, it kind of freaked me out. Uh, I'm going to show you here. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to exit out for just a second. I'm going to close out of that. I want to see if I can get the... Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the first time I went to um, Discord, um, I think it might have been Mid Journey. Let me try the Mid Journey. I just want you to see what it's going to look like so you don't freak out. You are in the right place. Okay, this is it Mid Journey. First time I went to midjourney.com, this is what I saw, and I immediately was intimidated. I'm like, what is all this stuff rolling around the screen? <laughs> it took me to some stuff from back in the day that I was like, I don't want to deal with that. Um, but all you're going to do is just say, you know, join the beta. And the reason mine doesn't say, well, the reason I'm not going to click on it is because I've already joined. So I would just sign in. But don't let this screen uh, freak you out, okay? Um, you can go to the gallery for Mid Journey. Okay, let me get back. I'm going to sign in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and I'm just going to authorize everything here. <clears throat> Um, the one thing I did not show you, and so you can see here's where those all those images that I showed you, the little boy, all of them are now a part of my Mid Journey. The reason you was, didn't see them the first time is because I was already signed into Mid Journey. But once I leave Mid Journey and come back into it, it'll show all those images. So this is the one where we uploaded my image and then typed in Queen. Um, this is the little boy. Uh, eating ice cream, sitting on top of the world. That's the little African-American girl, little girl sitting in the classroom. Oh, this was the image that we uploaded, sorry. And then the black man sitting on top of the world eating a piece of pie. The one thing I didn't show you that I want to show you is you can come to community and Mid Journey, and this is where you're going to see everybody's work. Okay, in Mid Journey. You can see everybody's work in Mid Journey. You can also see the prompts that they used. Okay. And like, this is really awesome. <coughs> when, you, when you click on the image, you can come down and you can say, mm -mm, click on the three little dots and say copy. You can copy the prompt or the full command. I would highly recommend you copy the full command because that's going to give you everything they used to generate this image, okay? And then you go back to your Discord. <clears throat> I go to my server. And I'm going to do imagine. And I'm going to paste. Okay. So we got the prompt, we got the um, ratio, and we got the variations in there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So everything they use to generate that image. Now, I will tell you that I'm not going to get the same image that that person generated. I'm going to get something similar, but not exactly. And that's the great thing about uh, digital images is that even if you use a prompt that someone else used, you're not going to get the same image. Okay. So you can see my work is now at 31% and 93%. And there we have it. It's done. So left click, open in browser. And there you have it. Okay, so you can see that person's work, <clears throat> excuse me, even though I use their prompt <clears throat> or their command, I'm sorry, even though I use their command, it gave me something similar, but it's not going to create the same digital image. You will not get the same digital image twice. Okay, so that's the really great thing about it. Now, a lot of people don't want you to have access to their prompts, but in mid journey uh, right now, there's no way to hide it. Um, you know, so it's a part of the community, the community. All right. So I'm going to show you again what I did. Oh, this is really neat. I just came, I logged into my mid journey and normally I would just go to home and that's where I'm going to find all of my work. If I want to see the community, everybody else's work, I'll just click on community. Okay. If I have any friends or family that I've connected with on Mid Journey, I'll be able to see their work here, but I'm not following anyone and no one is following me. And I'm going to keep it like that in Mid Journey. Um, but <clears throat> now that we're in the community, like I said, you can get the prompt on any of these. Wow. And it's really great work, guys. Oh, look at this one. So again, you click an image, you come down to the three dots, you click it, you're going to say copy, pull command, okay? Go back to Discord, because Discord is where you're going to create your images, forward slash, imagine, control V is in Victor, and enter. Again, my image <clears throat> it's not going to be exactly as this person's image. It's only going to be, you know, similar, okay? You're not going to get the same image twice, so you don't have to, when you're generating your images, you don't have to worry about, oh, I want to get the same exact image. That's not going to happen. All right, so here we are on our server. I'm just getting over COVID, guys, so. Bear with me. You might hear me sniffling and sneezing. <coughs> I apologize. All right, we're in 93%. Always wait till your image completes. That way you'll know that you got the full, you know, full thing here. So here's our images. Okay. So again, not exactly like theirs, but definitely in the likeness, okay? So that's how you can come um, and see other people's work. And remember I said, if you don't close those tabs, you're just going to end up with a slew of open tabs. And so always come up and exit out when you're done. I think I closed out my mid journey. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, in a nutshell, Discord, you want to create you an account on Discord first. Discord is kind of like a chat room. When you go in, you're going to, as long as you're using the free version, you're going to go to a newbie or a general um, chat room. You're going to start out here and you just get in by starting out putting that forward slash imagine, and then type in your prompt. Um, you don't have to put in a lot like I showed you, okay? 
um, but you do have to have Discord at Mid Journey, okay? In order, you can't just come and start in Mid Journey. You do have to set up Discord first, okay? Um, and now you can see that those images that I just used someone else's full command from are now a part of my Mid Journey. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I think that's all I wanted to show you and how to get started. I'll continue to add on um, to video tutorials. The more I know, the more I'll tell you. Um, but I'm still learning Mid Journey myself. Um, but I wanted to just kind of I've <clears throat> on my YouTube channel, I've shown you how to use Creative Fabrica Spark. I've also shown you how to use Canva to use the um, image uh, text to image in Canva. Um, I've also shown you on my YouTube channel how to use Playground AI, how to use the AI uh, generator, and also how to use Creative Fabrica's uh, prompt generator or prompt builder. And I just wanted to go ahead and show you how to use Mid Journey. I think out of all the ones that I've shown you, Mid Journey is going to render the best results by far, hands down, as you can see. Okay, these images are beautiful. Okay, um, but Playground AI is a big contender. I will tell you that because it's a lot of advantages in Playground AI. Check out my YouTube channel and check out Playground AI so you can see what it can do. And you'll see all the things that it can do that you can't do in um, Mid Journey. Okay. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to chime in in the comments. I do appreciate all comments. And I will say, guys, if you ever leave a thumbs down, leave me a comment to let me know what I can do better. Just a thumb down. It doesn't help me. Um, I know how to use Mid Journey. I don't have to get on and share that information. I share because I want to try to make it easier for others. Um, so if you leave a thumb down, just let me know why so I can get better. Okay. I want to get better in 2023. All right. No pressure. <laughs> All right. So that's it, guys. Um, if you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Dorses Cricket and Creative Crafters, thank you guys so much for um, being a part of my Facebook group. I will have a link in the description if you would like to join my Facebook group. Also, if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hit 10,000 subscribers in 2022, so I'm trying to hit even more in 2023. I'm not going to limit myself, so I won't put a number, but I appreciate all of my subscribers. If you like my method of teaching, I have over 300 plus video tutorials on my YouTube channel then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love comments. I do communicate with anyone that leaves comments, even if it's just a simple like, uh, I really like your video, or, you know, you suck, you know, I'm going to respond, okay? Please don't leave me, you suck. <laughs> I'm, okay, just put whatever you want to put, okay? All right, guys, um, that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.